Matt here, and I wanted to go over some basic troubleshooting on posting issues. So if you're having issues with the poster, whether it be fast poster, slow poster, manual poster, that sort of thing, there's some general things you can check and you can try. So if you start to post and everything just goes rapidly into failed and it's 100% failed or it's 100% failed in general, it could of course be your list, so you want to double check to make sure that you're actually feeding it blog lists. A quick test would be to run a portion of the list through the blog analyzer and uh, if all looks good there then your list is probably okay. Um, of course the next thing obviously is that it's going to be the proxies. If your proxies, if you have loaded up private proxies that are wrong or if they've changed or something like that then you want to go ahead and double check your proxies and just test them here under the manage tab. Now, if you're having issues where you think the success rate is too low or you're getting variance in posting to the same list, you can go here once you're done posting. So let's go ahead and post here. If I go ahead and post and I come up with, you know, so many of my 100 that are done here, then I can go once it's done. And let's also talk when I hit stop abort, did you notice how it didn't stop immediately? When you hit stop and abort like that, all the open connections need to close before it can abort. So if you have your timeout set at 90 seconds and you're hitting stop and abort and nothing's happening, it could take up to 90 seconds before all the connections down here close out and finish. So that was just a side note there. Um, once the comment poster is completed, let's go to export and export an air log and we'll just save it here. And I'm just gonna give it a bunch of W's there just to find it easy. And then let's go back in here and look we open it up we can see a text file here and it gives us the sites we were posting to and you can see here next to it it gives us reason code so this one failed because of captcha same thing here this one failed unable to post so unable to post may just mean that there's something on the page the form is messed up it didn't have a form all of the above failed captcha again failed comments closed that's pretty basic they've closed the comments on it Go over here, CAPTCHA, unable to post. We've got failed discarded. That's a good one. Failed discarded means that Scrapebox was able to post to the blog, but the blog discarded it, and that would generally be because of spam protection. Some sort of spam plugin has caught your website or thinks your website is spam or that you're spamming, and so they discarded your comment as spam. And so um, submitted is pretty straightforward as well going down through here failed unable to post when you get down to something like this where it says failed 403 now 403 is forbidden meaning that that sometimes can be a proxy error if your proxies happen to be the proxy you happen to hit was forbidding you from posting but um it also can be just that the website has an error and it's not allowing you to access that particular page failed 500 another good example it's a internal server error so we can look at those error codes and right here in Scrapebox's help there is an error code reference server error code reference and it'll bring it up and so we can go down here and see that 403 is forbidden the request was a legal request but the server is refusing to respond to it so okay we know that that means that the server was messed up or is a proxy let's go fi error 500 down here error 500 internal server error Basically, that means that there was an error on the web hosting server. It's down at the moment or it's, something's wrong with a script on there or something. So it's not working. So you can kind of go through here and you can see what's going on. So that, that's a helpful thing to export the error log. And that, that information is also right here. But sometimes it's helpful to export the error log because that's a rather small box to work with. And if we can get a, a text file here, that's obviously a lot easier to work with size-wise to scroll through there. And so if you're having issues where you don't have a lot of system resources or you're running this on a slower box or slower internet connection or with a lot of other things running especially things that are using internet connections windows messaging may be having a hard time keeping up so what you can do is you can go up here to settings and you can enable fast poster connection balancing what that does is every 500 posts it will pause and allow all the posts to catch up and for windows messaging to catch up and then it'll proceed forward and do some more posts so that can help to um, make it so the windows can keep up and that you don't have errors and things aren't locking up and that sort of thing so you can try that especially if you're having a lot of freezing error issues or you're working on a system that has 
uh, not a lot of system resources available to it or internet connection that sort of thing if your system and everything is running fine um, you don't want to use the fast poster connection balancing because it'll obviously just slow you down then if you're having issues as well where you're posting and you're having a really bad success rate or all of a sudden everything stops or it just everything's going along great for like 5, 10, 20 minutes and then it just stops and everything's failed. Go to help and you can test the server connection and make sure that you have all six green lights. If you have red lights all of a sudden, if Scrapebox works for a little bit and then you have red lights um, here and then everything just kind of stops like you hit a brick wall on your posting, that means that something is blocking your access sure scrape boxes access to the internet generally this will happen within the first few minutes but it can take several minutes but an antivirus firewall malware checker stuff like that they can hook the process and then once you get so many connections going they think that scrape box looks like spam or malware or virus or that sort of thing so they're killing the internet connection to it and then if you close down scrape box and reopen it it'll have internet access again for a little while so that's something you can also check and then you just need to add allow rules in those programs um, another thing that you can check out for is if your window looks normal like this but your numbers aren't increasing so if I'm posting away and it just kind of freezes down here but everything else looks normal then what's happened as well is is that you either have reached your half open connections limit and you can google for half open connections if you're on older uh, operating systems that have that enabled and there's some patches that you can get to turn that off or to tweak that and that can help you out but if you max out your half open connections then um, scrapebox may not be able to create any new posts also all of your um, tcp ports could be open or waiting kind of a similar process but basically um, you just have everything's running so fast and Windows isn't closing down those connections and so everything's open and waiting so Scrapebox can't actually create any new connections so nothing increases there. As well this would be more common on older operating systems than on a new operating system such as like the latest version of Windows 7 or Server 2008 R2 that sort of thing they have more ports available for TCP to work with so you generally don't have that kind of issue um, but that can also be an issue as well now if you're having a problem where you just get a black window where the whole thing just blacks out now this would be especially true or I guess more commonly true on if you're using a VPS or a dedicated server where you're remoting in if you're doing that it could be that your internet connection is too slow or that the internet connection with the VPS and that sort of stuff is too slow but that's not likely it could be on your end or it could be that there's not enough resources available on the VPS or the server to paint the window or display the screen in other words so it just gives you a black screen also you'll notice when this happens that if you open up any other program over it and close it it still keeps an image of that program silhouetted there on the screen where the black black image or the black boxes so this just basically means that there's not enough resources there generally when that's like that uh, unless you have maxed out all your resources or it crashes on your server if you just leave it alone it will finish and it will catch up and everything will be fine later but that's what that means just not enough resources now if it's ghosting like if you have this window and it turns like a ghost opaque white kind of thing and it says especially not responding up here at the top then that will generally mean a few different things but basically something's locked up so either um, you don't have enough system resources available which is pretty pretty basic you either need to increase your system resources or work with smaller lists and that sort of thing or if you have the um, not responding there it can be malformatted data if you happen to have bad data in your URL list that you're posting to or bad spin tax in your comments and that sort of thing you would definitely want to test your comments because that'll help you get rid of the spin tax errors but um, if you have bad data in the URLs like if you have random brackets and parentheses and characters that don't belong there or if the URLs are really long sometimes they can cause great box to lock up um, which is the handy new feature in dot 28 that you can remove URLs that are longer than XXX characters generally you probably want to stick with something in the 500 to 1000 range um, for the most part anything under 1000 I haven't had an issue with 
um, but I haven't extensively tested that, but there is a correlation there. So you can shorten your URLs. You can also try the uh, malware checker add-on. If you have malware running, fast poster isn't real susceptible to malware and stuff like that, but slow poster, especially since it uses the Internet Explorer rendering engine, then um, it is very susceptible. So you definitely want to run your list through the malware checker add-on. And if you're using slow poster, you can use the blog analyzer add-on as well. But that can help weed out URLs that are problematic. And then, of course, your system resources. It, ultimately, if it works out to be that, there's not a whole lot you can do other than simply using smaller lists or turning your connections down or just not doing as many other things on your system or your box, whatever it's running on, at the same time. Now, lastly, if you're having issues and you can't figure out what the problem is, if you've tried all the troubleshooting and you're still having issues, then if you're having issues with the poster, especially any of the poster options here, you'd want to go to export and export this air log so you can send it over because a lot of times just by looking at that, support is able to tell, oh, we have every single one of them failed because of CAPTCHA. Well, it just CAPTCHAs and you just didn't notice it. Or every single one of them is a 404. Or it's all a timeout. Or everything's running perfectly and then we see a wall of timeouts. So there's a lot of things that um, you can determine. But if you don't know what you're looking at, um, support is going to know what they're looking at. So go ahead and send over, export that air log. And of course, they may ask you for other things as well and you can just get support on their website um, it's just scrapebox.com and all the way down at the bottom or more easier in scrapebox here under help um, there is a contact option that you can get just by going to help and then visiting the website and then scrolling all the way down here where it says contact support and then you'll see the form and you can select the support department that sort of thing now obviously you can't upload the file here for the, the air log so basically what I would do then is just take a portion of the air log and paste it below here if you feel that that's um, relevant and helpful to support um, and if not they can come back and ask you for that air log if they need it and that is the basic concept of how you can troubleshoot Scrapebox